that the capacity of two similar containers are 54 ml and uh, 250 ml respectively. The difference in heights of the two containers is 4 cm. Calculate the height of the larger container. Now, this is simply the concept on uh, linear scale factor, volume scale factor, and area scale factor. We say uh, the capacity uh, represents volume. And in most of this question, I like taking the one with the smaller volume, 50 ml, I take it as the image, and this one I take it as the object. Hence, I can find volume scale factor because we said that volume scale factor is volume of image divided by volume of object. When you do this one, it is 54 divided by 250. When you simplify this one, you get 27 divided by 125. That is our volume scale factor. Then we can convert. If you have volume scale factor, you can easily get linear scale factor. We said that linear scale factor is simply the cube root of volume scale factor. This one will give us the cube root of uh, 27 divided by 125, which is simply 3 over 5. This is our linear scale factor. Then we know that linear scale factor is simply length of image divided by length of object, like that one. We can say, let the length of uh, the object, which is the length of the larger container, be, uh, let's say, x. We can say, let length of object, uh, length of object be x, meaning uh, length of uh, length of image will be will be x minus 4 because the difference uh, in height is uh, 4 so if the larger container is x the smaller container will be x minus 4 then from this one we're going to say linear scale factor which is 3 over 5 will be equal to length of image which is now x minus 4 divided by uh, length of object which is x. We just cross multiply that one. This will be 3x is equals to 5 multiplied by x minus 4. This will give us 3x is equals to 5x minus 20. Like that one. This one will give us uh, 3x. If you take this one the other side, you're going to have minus 5x is equals to negative 20. This will give us negative 2x is equal to negative 20. We divide both sides by negative 2. And our x is going to give us 10. 